Day 30, we've been recording Child of Light for, like, like 30 episodes, and, uh, we're getting tired. Yep. That's in Replay Live. You, that was the best opening ever. You, day, day, day 30. You were so proud of it. Nick's judging me. Day 1, Nick's judging you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to open this freaking thing? Come on, Joe. What? Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, look. Four revives in a thing. That was pretty well, that's good. A, that's a bit of an omen, I think. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this chest. Uh, what is next to it? Oh, my. I'm freezing it. Get it. It's a gargle. Oh, it's a gurgle. A gurgle? A gurgle. Oh, oh, confession. I got it. Okay, cool, because I didn't even see it. Um, and all these little dreams and wishes and dreams and wishes. If you don't know, we're really tired. It's true. Say, Nick, um, that Game of Thrones show is pretty good. No spoilers coming up here. Um, what <laughs> stories would you like to see adapted into TV? Other than Game of Thrones? Other than, oh, I mean, like, yeah, other than Game of Thrones. Something that's not on TV, Nick, go on. Okay, well, I, I know my, like, my one big answer. Okay. That it wouldn't work for TV, <laughs> but I want to see it in a, a like a movie series format. Okay. Does that count? That's fine. I can look. Okay, so the the first one I was gonna say was Wheel of Time, but oh yeah, but I have reasons to also say I don't want to see that. You know, I don't know what you're. Oh, you see it? Okay, I didn't. That, for the first time I didn't actually can see I, the puzzle. Can I get it? Not <laughs> apparently not. What were they? Uh, what were they just saying? I don't know. I wasn't reading. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I need this juice. Um, yeah, I mean, that's something I honestly, like, as I was reading Wheel of Time... Let's go to the left real quick before you do that. Okay. I just want to see what's... There. There's just a oh, box. Shit. And there was a thing up top. All right. Oh, stupid. There Chest. we go. Um, so Wheel of Time is my kind of, like... It's a great book series. It's a little long-winded, but it's a great book series. Um, I do enjoy it, Answer. But the thing that I really, really, really want to see is the Preacher comic series mm. turned into a series of really well done movies. It's such an amazing... Oh, there's an order. Okay. It's an amazing mix of modern day storytelling plus fantasy plus cool looking, you know, art. <laughs> like, it's just one of my favorite series and so I think it would work very well but it would also be so hard to pull it off that I almost I'm almost reluctant to the idea at the same time does that make sense yeah I understand that all right how do we figure out the time the pattern on this um other than trial and error is there something up above that we're missing I don't see anything no I don't oh, know which one starts it oh, yeah okay. this is the so conch spiral shell <laughs> this is what I wasn't trying and then it's that one it's gotta be cause yes alright try the spearhead now Just, I feel like the spear's last but uh, that makes sense but it looks like it connects with that one you got that's it. why I wanted to do it yeah uh, and there you go. Okay, sweet. I have no re idea what the order was of that. It was probably just missed in the dialogue <laughs> while we were not paying attention. Well, I could have gotten some Well, some dreams, too bad. Thanks. We're going to the Palace of the Sun without your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, what's your answer? Oh, man, I was just thinking. I was like, oh, crap. I don't have an answer for this. I keep coming up with <laughs> you these keep hypotheticals. You keep doing that, yeah. And it's like, I, what, you did it in Meat Boy next? a bunch of times. Well, um, have you read Preacher? No, I, it's one of those that you mentioned to me, and I was like, I, um, I it's nothing about it. It's, oh, <laughs> it's uh, super good. Open me back up so I can get out of here. I think we must have missed something to the left. To oh, the left. Going up. Oh, yeah, there we go. And get a box. And sometimes, oh, I didn't see him. He was sitting. Should we flee? Yeah. Have we flee. fought a drake like that before? <sighs> yeah, okay. Have we? I don't know. I don't, I can't. Can't remember. Safety likes a little Shit. bit of lightning. <laughs> I can tumble him. Can you? I can. Watch. Probably shouldn't have tumbled him. He's probably got some sort of. Nope. Nope. Never mind. He doesn't have uh, anything, and then he's gonna interrupt him. And it's gonna work out perfectly. 331 damage, man, Finn. You're awesome. He's got that, that casting damage buff he's thing. He's gotta get that. <laughs> 
He's only got 15%, but it's still useful. Uh, I think that Seems goes... Like a... All right. Interrupt, isn't he? Oh. Oh. Don Piano. <laughs> <laughs> I make no sense anymore. <laughs> So I'm gonna go through some of my uh, gut reaction answers to that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of been done, so this is a little bit of a cheap one. But Redwall, the Redwall series. Yeah. Um, I would love to see it just really done. Yeah, right. done full, big blown um, Hollywood budget or yeah, HBO Hollywood, budget, whatever you know. HBO. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, animated, I guess, obviously. But I would love to see a great animation style for it. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. I don't know who I would have animate that, but uh, oh shit! Wow, he sped up fast. Took him to jump like that. Yeah, that's no okay. Worries. Yeah, it didn't even hurt. Monsoon. Well, um, weren't even a big next. deal. On the old guts, the gold guts reaction, McGee. I mean, Netflix is maybe doing Zelda. Is that still a thing? I wasn't sure if that was a rumor um, or like a crazy like. I never heard that. That sounds awesome. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> like, it's just... like, I'm a little hesitant to say it. Like, I'm a little worried, but there was, there I was, want like, it to be awesome. I remember in the the article about it, it was like some Game of thrones and influence in their design concept for it, which mm. seems really odd, right? Yeah. Um, but how, how else do you fill in the world around Link? You it know, it kind like of silent... sounds fake to me. Like it's right? not going to happen. But apparently it is real. Oh, re you, do you know that for sure? Well, I'm going to Google it after this episode. And yeah. Be like, oh, damn it, it wasn't real. I just said it was... <laughs> but I, I, I really, I, I mean, oh, like... I Part of me wants it to be real, just good or bad. It's, it's just a cool thing. It's just, Zelda needs to get out of Zelda more. Um, yeah. Uh, like, yes, yeah, you're so right, actually. That statement says a lot. And I guess the new game helps. The, the new game's Warriors. out, right? I haven't played it. Hyrule, yeah, it's, it's really cool. We've gone over plenty of times in the show yeah, that yeah. I'm not a console gamer. But Go to the right more. Oh, yeah, right. That's right. Uh, the, the thing is, so the game is kind of silly because the, the, you just kill hordes of enemies. Keep going right. Uh, this uh, might be a timer and I can't go right. i got to get this thing when you do that. So. Oh, we'll try it. Maybe we'll make it. Dash, dash, dash. dash. Oh, cool. Right, oh, it's done. It's done. Um... Yeah, Hyrule Warriors was cool, but it felt silly. But it was really satisfying to play it just because I was playing with Zelda characters. Right, that's... In this kind of... They weirdly connected different Zelda oh, games together. Oh, God. Uh, the fact that they did something different says a lot. Yeah. Like... Uh, I guess this goes down here. Get that thing. Woo! <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> uh, this is going to have to go... We're probably going to stop that door or something from... Oh, my goodness. I, box mechanics like this are sometimes annoying. Like, I feel like it should have a push mechanic where I can throw it further mm -hmm. than just drop it over the edge. Alright, I'm just gonna get this lined up. I assume we're coming back here. Okay. But oh, you know what? <laughs> this is gonna be such a such a long lost reference. Oh boy, there's a thing there. Sacred Pie TV show. No. Up. Oh, wow, that webcomic series. Like... Ancient. <laughs> Do you think they still run? I stopped I don't reading, know. and not for any reason other than I think I was living without internet for a little while, and so I stopped reading. And then it was just one of those things that like I never got back to. Well, they also had huge hiatuses. When I went back Did and they? started rereading it, they were like, "Hey guys, we're gonna take a break for a little while." Um, and I, 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 the last time I checked, they hadn't finished, but like they had made some huge strides. And I was just like, man, I can't. I oh, can't I this. you're holding that. Um, so Sacred Pie, for those who don't know, because I feel like it's pretty obscure. Yeah. Is you can just hit the thing over there. Uh, I don't think there's anything above. Um, I guess if you want to check, yeah, looks fine. Uh, oh. Except you have to go up. Huh. Just oh, up and over. Okay, I didn't realize I could go over. Huh. <laughs> but you can stop it. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'll back up a little bit. There we go. Uh, it's like a comic series where a guy shows up and bestows three holy, not holy, but like powerful alien artifacts on some slacker dudes who are hanging out in their house. Um, is. I don't even remember how the pie plays in. I know it's one of the alien things, but I don't know if it's. Mm, Sacred Pie is a woman? Right? I honestly don't remember. Oh, that's a spoiler territory <laughs> for everybody who actually yeah, goes through yeah. and reads the many, many hundreds of pages. And it's totally worth it, by the way. Like, yeah. That comic is adventurous and humorous, and their their art starts off a little weak, but they grow so much. Mm. And it's just really, 
impressive how much dedication they put into building that universe. When I used to have a webcomic, the only piece of fan art I ever did was for Sacred Pie. Mm. Um, I did a Sacred Pie fan art piece. Oh, I can grab it down here. Um, anyhow, so these guys go into space and they have this just wonderful journey. I think the thing I liked the most about it was the mix of alien characters. Mm -hmm. It was obviously like Star Wars inspired or one of those types sure. of space operas. But it did it so well, like, introducing new alien types, and each time they did introduce one, it felt believable, even for the goofiest, like, of aliens. And it did do something, I mean, Star Wars is definitely fantasy sci-fi, mm -hmm. and Sacred Pi is fantasy sci-fi, but it did it from a different angle, because mm -hmm. there were mm -hmm. some Christian Judeo influences um, in their, in their, oh, where is the key yeah. this? I do not know. Oh, is that it? It's not just this, is it? <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> um, uh oh uh oh oh here we go stuff's happening but yeah I mean that sci-fi fantasy setup is so great oh my stars Aurora look at you such fair skin and hair that shines a shame such a foul bloodline gave birth to locks so fine a princess would never dirty her dress cavorting with insects and common folk um, Nox, you were kind of technically cavorting with us. <laughs> How dare you insult my friends? What are you, some kind of joke? A double-crosser like you wears mud as her cloak. Enough. Aurora, you are a perfect disgrace, and I aim to put you in your place. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is going to have to be next time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Ooh, Sometimes got it. Oh, when we get into a conversation, I just completely lose track. But yeah, next time on Instant Replay Live. Thanks for watching, everybody. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.